Hello, this is Winston Smith reminding you to click the like button and subscribe along with the notification bell for when we upload videos. Thank you. What's up, YouTube? This is Winston Smith back again with another commentary. I've been going for a minute. It was a coronavirus break. I'm still alive. Um, so I've been working a lot, of, um, a lot of hours. So I'm back on um, right now. Today I'm gonna to be talking about 50 Cent and the reactions to his um, to his commentary with um, Little Wayne about black females. Um, basically, uh, Kevin Hart's uh, ex-wife went on um, IG Live and was speaking about it. Uh, Vivica Fox was uh, speaking about it. This is his ex-girlfriend, which you know they have their history. Uh, Kiki Palmer was speaking on it, so a whole bunch of women were speaking on it in reaction to what he said with um, Lil Wayne. I'm going to give my reaction. Now, 50 Cent basically is a multimillionaire, and he's basically been in the business for a long time, but he still acts like he's around the block goofing with his friends. And we see this before with Rick Ross. So if you have a beef with Rick Ross, fine. But you're going to go and, and get a... Um, uh, a video of Rick Ross's baby mama involved in, you know, a pornographic uh, situation and put it online and sit there and goof and, and make a commentary. And guess what? Because of that, you lost millions of dollars. You had to go bankrupt. So it's like you're a grown individual, you're a mogul, and you keep making these, like, almost like young boy, teenager mistakes. You're black. You just was basically involved with uh, a beef with French Montana months back about calling out French Montana's, um, it was, it was, I think it was a Bugatti or something, that it was fake. And, and him and French Montana was going back and forth about whose Bugatti was real, whether French Montana's um, Bugatti was fake, if it was used. At the same time, bro, you're black, you're dark-skinned, you're muscular, you're driving a Bugatti, a $3 million car. And the amount of protests that's going on because of George Floyd, because of black men getting shot. And cars, that's regular people cars. $30,000 car, $50,000 cars. You driving a $3 million car, you're blessed. And all the stuff that's going on, it wouldn't occur to you to say, like, you know what? This is a, you know what I'm saying? This wouldn't occur to you to say, okay, let me not make this statement right now because of the amount of protests that's going on, on out there. George Floyd... Yeah, you know I mean, so he's he's been so rich for such a long period of time. He's been so blessed for such a long period of time that you know he he's disconnected. You understand? So with all the stuff that's going on, all the protests that's going on out there, it wouldn't occur to him that you know the, the same woman that you're basically making a statement about is out there protesting for you. You understand? Because you can have whatever preference you want to have. Then you sit there you talk with your boy about whatever preference you want to have. But both of these guys. Him and Lil Wayne are multi-millionaires. You understand? So you represent the black community. You're supposed to be more responsible in how you talk. These are not regular two guys around the block that's just having a little conversation. You're live streaming this. You have 30 million, 30 million um, uh, Instagram followers. So you have a lot of men and women, black men and black women, that's listening to you, that's following you. And a lot of young black girls are following you too. You understand? You're making these comments, and it's like, you know, you're an elder person in the community, so you're supposed to be uplifting the community. If you want to make your jokes with your people, it's fine. You wait till the live stream cut off, and you go ahead and talk with your boy and, and get your garbage, you know, get the dirt out there, you can go into more detail. But when people are watching, this is part of the program. I mean, no other race of people do, does this. You know I mean, if you have your personal gripes, then keep it within yourself. You understand? Talk with your boy about it. But don't go and just broadcast it, project it out there uh, to, to the hundreds of thousands of people that's watching the live stream. Oh, well, you know, that sh is exotic. That's like it came off a boat. I'm sitting there crackling up like, yo, this sounds like some a conversation that, you know, because, you know, this is basically all part of uh, the patriarchy, all part of white supremacy where everywhere around the world has this. In India, they have it. Light skin, dark skin. In China, they have it. Africa, they have it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So we can relate, but we're not going to go out there and say it like we're, you know, irresponsible young teenagers sitting there talking. The Kodak Black, maybe we could get away with it. I don't want no dark, I'm dark enough. 
He's a teenager when he made that statement. You're 50 years old. You've been in the game for long enough, seen enough. There's no reason for you to make that comment at this stage of your life. It makes no sense. You understand? So, so I don't care what 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 was behind it. You're a grown ass man. You're a multimillionaire. Little Wayne has a daughter. It's dark skin. You gotta be. You know. You, you they, these guys are in the category of grandfather, great grandfather, making statements like the teenagers. You need to grow up. You understand? So if you have your own personal preference, fine. That's your preference. See, that's your preference. You keep that between yourself and your people. That's it. There's no reason for you to go and broadcast online or broadcast to the world your preference. Everybody knows he has a problem, you know, has an ongoing problem with his first baby mama and his first son that looks just like him, Marquise or something like that. Maybe that could be behind it. You understand? So there's a whole bunch of stuff that might be behind his statement. You know what I mean? And maybe, you know, so sometimes people make statements like that there's stuff that's happened before in their past about, you know, why they might feel that way. So so sometimes it might be, you know, you just can't take it too personal. If you just happen to, you know, walk down the street or in the bus and you just happen to hear it, you leave it alone. People are not going to care. Well, you're a multimillionaire and you have the spotlight on you. And then it's just making it seem like all black men have that particular foot when it, it's not true. So at the same time, though, we, but then there's no reason to cut one down or to lift up the other. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like he was doing in that live stream. Cut up with your boys. Have fun. Off camera. Be responsible. There's 30 million people that follow you right now. And a lot of them are black teenagers. A lot of them are people, black teenagers, that are protesting for 50 cents. It's 50 cents right to be able to drive a $3 million car and not get killed in this $3 million car. So you think it will be apparent to this person with the amount of cars that he has, with the amount of expensive whips that he has right now that he drives around with. You know what I mean? I mean, you're black, you're in a multi-million dollar car, your life is in danger. And these people are protesting for the right that you're supposed to be able to drive whatever car you want without your life being in danger, and this is how you repay them. All right? But what do you think? What's 50 Cent right? Does he have a preference? Always the way out of line.